The Montessori language curriculum begins with a variety of sets of language cards. In this example, the cards represent materials found in the Montessori classroom. The top card in the box indicates the contents. Any objects from plants and animals to tools and road vehicles can be used. The purpose of the language cards is to build the child's vocabulary. The teacher reviews each card with the child. If the child successfully names the object, the card is put aside. If the child is not sure, the teacher identifies the object and places it in a separate pile. Once the teacher has completed reviewing the cards, she goes back to a stack of unfamiliar cards and chooses three with contrasting appearance and proceeds with a three-period lesson. The teacher lays out the cards. The first step is identifying each card. The binomial cube. The child repeats the binomial cube. The spindle boxes. The child repeats the spindle boxes. And finally, the painted globe. The second step of the three-period lesson is to ask the child to show you the card. Where is the painted globe? The teacher asks. The child points to the globe. Show me the binomial cube. The child points to the card. The teacher mixes up the cards and practices again with the child using the second step in the three-period lesson. Finally, in the third period or step, the teacher asks the child, What is this? and the child will respond, this is the painted globe. The three-period lesson is frequently used to make learning new words fun. The teacher is able to observe the child and move ahead to the next step when he is ready. The sound game is played with a set of objects that begin with distinctly different sounds. Usually, the teacher will have several children play the sound game together. Here, the teacher introduces each one by emphasizing the initial sound. In my hand, I have a t t t tomato. In my hand, I have a c c c cup. In my hand, I have a b b b box. In my hand, I have a horse. After each is introduced, she will ask, show me something on the rug that starts with k. The child would answer, cup. Many different objects can be used for sound games. There are also sound games based on the middle sound, the ending sound, or words that have all the same sound. Sandpaper letters are used to practice beginning letter writing and the sounds of the alphabet because reading requires one to know the sound the letter makes, not its name. The letter names are not difficult to learn once the child is reading. The first letter here is M. Mm. The teacher traces the letter once or twice and repeats M. Mm. The teacher passes the letter on to the child and gives some examples of the sound in a word, milk, or marshmallow. The child repeats the process tracing and saying the sound. The teacher introduces a second letter t in the same manner. She passes it on to the child and says turtle. The third letter is the vowel a. Vowels are color-coded blue. A three-period lesson can be used to reinforce the child's memory of the sounds. The sand tray is a very popular material for most children. The child chooses several sounds that she is familiar with. The teacher presents each letter by tracing it and then repeating the process in the sand. After each tracing, the sand tray can be shaken to restore it to an even surface. If a mistake is made, the child shakes the sand tray and it disappears, allowing the child the opportunity to begin again with a fresh start.
The first step in the presentation of the movable alphabet is to prepare a space on the floor in the classroom by laying out a rug. The child retrieves the movable alphabet from the shelf. Prior to beginning the work, the child should straighten any letters in the box and make sure that all the letters are in the proper slots. The vowels are located in a row at the top of the box and are color-coded blue. The consonants are color-coded pink. The material allows the child to write out words and eventually to construct simple sentences. In this presentation, the teacher says, I'm going to make hat. As she lays out the letters, she repeats the letter sounds, at, hat. Next, the child chooses a word, mom, m, a, m, mom. The child can continue to make words with the assistance of an adult. When the work is completed, the child places the letters back in the slots and returns them to the shelf. This is the triangle metal inset. This work develops hand-eye coordination and the beginning small muscle skills of writing. The work is brought to a table and the pieces are removed from the tray. The outside frame of the triangle is placed on the paper and the edge is slowly and carefully traced. The proper holding of the pencil is emphasized. The outside frame is replaced and the triangle inset is next placed on the paper and the child traces again with the goal of matching the original triangle. After completing the triangle, the child fills in the triangle with curved lines, taking care to come as close to the edge as she can without touching it. There are 10 metal insets representing common geometric shapes. Repetition using all insets will result in significant improvement in the child's ability to manage a writing instrument.